Hey guys, this is Tyler here from Rehab to Fab Designs. I am working on this cabinet that you see here behind me. Um, it is painted in Dixie Belle paint in a blend of um, three different blue colors. Um, this cabinet was originally a TV armoire, so it had um, the backing on it that had a cutout. Um, and we have removed that and we've got a new piece of plywood that we're replacing with it. And I am going to put some paper on it um, to give it a little pop of um, color and pizzazz, if you will. Um, so this is the pretty paper that I have. And it's got blues, it's got purples, it's got yellows, and it's got this beautiful orange on it. Isn't that pretty? Um, and so when I originally found this paper um, and was trying to decide what to do with this cabinet, I thought about painting it this pretty orangey red color and putting the paper on the inside. So, um, and it would just be a, a vibrant pop of color in general. Um, and I couldn't decide whether or not it would sell being that color. So I decided to go a little bit more neutral. And so I have an ombre of um, blues. So it starts light up at the top. Um, that is Savannah Mist by Dixie Belle. And then the middle color down here is called Yankee Blue by Dixie Belle. And so here the two are blended together to kind of create a new color. The bottom of the piece is painted in In the Navy by Dixie Belle. And then of course a blend here of those two colors my darker and middle colors there at the top of that drawer. Um, so my hardest decision I'm making right now is what color to paint the inside. Um, I really wanna paint it this pretty orange color um, because I think one, it's complement complementary to blue if you look at your color wheel. Um, also it gives it just that extra pop of color and makes it more of a statement piece and it looks very designer to me. I did post on my um, Rehab to Fab Designs Facebook page um, and on Instagram to kind of get people's opinion to see what people thought if I should leave it white and more neutral or go with this pretty orange color. Um, and I am getting a resounding orange from everybody. Um, so what I am gonna do, um, just so I can kind of get a feel for it, is go ahead and put my paper on my new plywood back and then I'll hold that up and see kind of my gut feeling once I see it in there, how it looks and what color I wanna do. Um, I'm not going to put the back back on it before I paint it because I'm sloppy. Um, and if I um, put the back on it and then paint it, I'll get paint all over my wallpaper. So um, I did have one person who um, recommended red, which would, this is kind of a red orange, so it would, you know, kind of go for that. And I also had one very smart person say, yellow, which would be beautiful as well, because yellow is also complementary to blue. However, I'm going with orange because it has more orange in it um, if I do anything. So, um, if you'll join me, I am going to do a video for you for how to apply the paper. Um, also, about the paper, I ordered it from a company on Etsy. Um, you can find them on Instagram, Facebook, Etsy. Oops, sorry, it's upside down. Colorito Company is the name of it. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, comes with these instructions here. Basically want to apply it to a clean surface, a smooth surface, um, and a painted surface. So I didn't want to apply it to the raw plywood even though it was pretty smooth. So we put a coat of paint on it after sanding it down um, and sand it afterwards to make sure it's nice and smooth because if it's not a smooth surface, then your paper is not gonna lay flat and you're gonna have bubbles and you're gonna have issues. But it is a peel and stick wallpaper. So it's two layers. You have your paper on the front and then you have a backing on it and you just peel it apart to separate the two and then you apply it to your surface. And then I use um, a squeegee to kind of press my bubbles out. And this is what that looks like. We use them in our workshops for signs. Um, it's just a little plastic um, device that has some, um, fabric on one side so you can either use the plastic or the fabric if you're worried about tearing your paper like for damage or something like that um, but um, I'm going to use that to squeeze out all the air bubbles um, and apply it you can find those at Harbor Freight um, uh, I believe they carry them or you can order them online from Amazon um, in bulk but that's it um, I'm going to stop this video and get set up and then I'll jump back on and show you how to apply the wallpaper all right, so um, I've got two rolls of this paper because my width, um, the paper comes in a standard width. I believe it was like 24 inches, if I remember correctly. Um, and it's not wide enough to fit this whole piece. So um, I had to order two. And I'm gonna have a little bit of extra overhang for my length as well. And maybe we can use that to put on the sides of the doors or something because I hate to waste stuff. So it will go just like that. Um, 
and then I will line it up and do um, the second piece of paper as well. When it comes from the company, it does come with just a little bit of overhang here. That way you can line it up um, so you don't have to try to get it perfectly um, edge to edge because it would be basically impossible. Um, so it comes with a little overhang and so you'll just lay that down and then cut it um, and it's really pretty quick. Um, you just kind of peel the back off and lay it down where it's at and then you can either measure first and go ahead and cut your excess off or I could um, just lay it down and then trim it off afterwards. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's it guys. I just used my scissors to kind of trim off the excess here um, where I cut it a little bit big around the edges of the plywood. Um, so that just took, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 minutes to apply. Pretty simple. Um, put it down, smooth it down, um, and that's it. And now all we have to do is apply the new backing to our cabinet. That's it. Okay, so here it is. All applied. So it has lots of colors. It's got dark blue, light blue. It's even got some kind of purple, burgundy, reds, yellows, oranges. All kind of pretty colors. Very pretty design. Colorito Company, if you're interested. They're on Instagram. You can find their website. Um, and also on Etsy if you want to purchase papers. They have a ton and they're all gorgeous. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check out the description below for information on the paint colors we used and our affiliate link with Dixie Bell.